I'm Jim Carter with your WCCF News Talk video headlines for Thursday, August 16th. A conservative crowd filled the VFW Hall in North Andover last night in order to hear candidates who supported limited government and traditional values. The Merrimack Valley Tea Party was the forum's sponsor and it featured mainly Republican candidates for state office. Massachusetts State Police and Lawrence Police raided two downtown bodegas and a music store on Saturday during their ongoing crackdown on illegal gambling in the city of Lawrence. Evidence was seized, but no arrests were made. U.S. Senator Kelly Ayotte of New Hampshire, scheduled to be one of the speakers at the upcoming Republican National Convention in Tampa. The senator issued a statement yesterday saying the nomination of Mitt Romney is a critical step to begin cleaning up Washington. President Obama's scheduled campaign visit to Wyndham, New Hampshire this weekend will be costing his campaign $4,600. There's no charge for tickets to see the president on Saturday at the Wyndham, New Hampshire High School. However, town leaders have decided that they're not picking up the cost. They're having that campaign do so. The town of Andover, considering increasing its electrical, plumbing, and gas permit fees. Fees have remained unchanged since 2003. Andover selectmen will be taking up the issue again in September. And 18-year-old Colin McLaren of North Andover faces a felony and four misdemeanor charges after police in Salem, New Hampshire, caught him Tuesday afternoon with marijuana and attempting to pawn expensive jewelry. These are the stories making news headlines on this Thursday. Thank you for joining us here at 1110 AM WCCM and 102.9 FM HD2. Local news first. For Lou Blasi and Bruce Arnold, I'm Jim Carter. Thank you for viewing our video news headlines.